Four people were injured Friday in a crash in rural Finney County. Kansas Highway Patrol reports the crash occurred around 5.45 p.m. on K-156 Highway, about seven miles east of K-23. Kansas Highway Patrol says a 2003 BMW was eastbound when it failed to negotiate a curve and left the roadway and overturned. The driver, a 45-year-old man from Shawnee, Kansas, was injured in the crash and taken to St. Catherine's Hospital in Garden City. Also injured in the crash were a 37-year-old woman and a 4-year-old girl also from Shawnee. They too were taken to St. Catherine's Hospital. A 22-year-old woman from Dodge City who was also riding in the car was taken to the Hayes Medical Center. Buckland High School received $985 through Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas Foundation. School personnel, including nurses, teachers, principals, and others throughout Kansas are sharing $148,876 in Healthy Habits for Life grants from the Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Kansas to deliver programs or activities aimed at helping thousands of school-aged children improve their overall health. Now, students at schools in 66 counties will have access during 2016 to at-school programs designed to help them reduce their cardiovascular risk, increase their physical activity, or learn healthy eating habits. The National Weather Service says its preliminary data shows Kansas had 124 confirmed tornadoes in 2015. Now, that's 83 more than we had in 2014. The Hutchinson News reports the number of tornadoes last year tied for the fourth highest number since 1990. Now, Eric Metzger, a meteorologist in Wichita, says moisture from the strong El Nino was a possible factor in the 2015 higher number of tornadoes. Metzger said that while 124 tornadoes is above normal, Kansas experiences between 70 and 110 tornadoes every year. The elephant exhibit at Lee Richardson Zoo has been vacant since African elephants Missy and Kimba were moved to Colorado Springs a couple of months ago. But the exhibit isn't expected to remain vacant for as long as zoo staff makes way for two black rhinos. A general cur curator, John Jordan Piha, said a verbal agreement has been made between the Lee Richardson Zoo and the Atlanta Zoo to obtain a two-year-old rhino and a male black rhino and the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo to obtain a five-year-old female black rhino. Paiha said the uh, plan is to house the rhinos in the existing elephant yard and rhino yard that's just located north of the elephant yard. Before the rhinos can be transported, both exhibits will need a few modifications, including raising fence heights in the current rhino yard, decreasing the depth of the pool in the elephant yard, and adding bollards, which are short vertical posts to the barn. Now, the goal is to have the rhinos moved in sometime in 2016. And Harvey County Sheriff T. Walton is warning area ranchers to be vigilant in keeping watch over their herds due to recent incidents of cattle mutilizations. Walton said in a post on the department's Facebook page, a cow that was part of a herd in McPherson County had its eyeballs removed. The mutilation was the second one in two weeks. Harvey County emergency dispatchers reported another animal was killed and had its genitals removed. Now, there was no information on how the animal died. Walton said a $5,000 reward is being offered for information that leads to an arrest of the person or persons responsible. And that's a look at some of the happenings out there. Now I'll be back with, it's not the warmest forecast, but there's sunshine right after. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. Hi, I'm Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs at noon weekdays right here on TV23. Hey, do you think you have an idea for something that would make a great segment? Somebody that would make a great interview? What about a community event that needs highlighting? 
Let us know here at the station. Email us, news at kdgltv.com. Hi, Chris Jewell, host of High Plains Today, a 30-minute news and information program that airs weekdays at noon right here on TV 23. We talk about news, we talk about sports, we talk about weather, we're even going to talk entertainment. We'll have live guests right here on set with me. So, every day at noon, tune in High Plains Today. We'll see you then. Weekdays here on TV 23. You want to feel connected, at one with your world. Informed, included, and inspired. So no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here, at all hours, in the moment, on every screen in your life. Your local TV and radio broadcasters. We investigate and inform, give back to the community, build the local economy, even save lives. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here, 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 and here. We are broadcasters, always here for you, wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. Now, the local weather forecast for the High Plains. And welcome back as we look off to the north from the U.S. 56 bypass. We're looking up here somewhere is the casino, Boot Hill Casino and Resort in Dodge City. Lots of, there's a few high clouds out there, but lots of sunshine. Let's take a look at our temperature at station. 37 degrees relative humidity, 69%. Winds are out of the southeast at 13. Barometric pressure holding steady. As we look at the temperatures around the area, you can see out here, Lamar is the cold spot. They're still in the 20s. Everybody else is in the 30s, moving to the 40s. Perryton already there, already at 43. Current dew points around the area, you can see Lamar at 16. They're still pretty dry out there. Everybody else pretty much in the 20s, except, well, Hayes at 16. They're matching Lamar. Looking at our current wind speeds out there. Well, I don't know what's the matter with Lamar. It's maybe because they're so close to the mountains. Who knows? Anyway, everybody else pretty much out of the south, southeast. Everybody in the low teens, upper teens. We're not, look, not looking for a whole lot of wind today. Looking at our highs and lows. As recorded at the Garden City Regional Airport, we had a high of 50 yesterday. 76 back in 2006. 17 was the overnight low. Ooh, minus 10 back in 1979. No new precipitation in the bucket. Looking at today, 44 degrees for the high, mostly sunny. Winds are going to be out of the south, southeast at 16. That's going to be pretty pleasant. Tonight, 22 for the low. Winds will be out of the south at 15. It'll be mostly cloudy. Then tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 42. Not as much sunshine. Winds are going to be out of the south, though, at 20 degrees. And then tomorrow night, 30 degrees for the low. Mostly cloudy. Winds are still going to be out of the south at 16. As we look at the seven-day, yep, you knew it was bound to happen. Got sunshine today, but we got a little precipitation that is in the form of rain, not snow. That's going to try and sneak in here on Wednesday. Other than that, the highs are going to pretty much be in the mid to upper 40s. It's going to start cooling off, though, towards the weekend. That's a look at our weather. Be back with the markets and Ms. Jen Hittle after this. When you throw away money on wasted electricity, you're throwing away everything you could have bought with it. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. Kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs. 
Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. Totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Traditional light bulbs actually generate nine times more heat than light. Switch to Energy Star light bulbs, and you'll realize just how much cash you are really burning through. Saving energy saves you money. Learn more at energysavers.gov. And welcome back. I'm now joined by Ms. Jen Hiddle. She is the executive director of the Miss Southwest slash Miss Santa Fe pageant that is coming up. This weekend in Ulysses, Kansas, America. Did I get all that right? You got that right. You got a lot. You, you are the executive director of a pageant that is affiliated with the Miss Kansas pageant. So I know you're a busy lady. Yes, we are. Very busy. <laughs> pageant <laughs> week is what we call yes, it. Yes, pageant week. Are you ready? We will be. We're always <laughs> ready. That means, no, well, we got stuff to do, but yes. we got people on it. <laughs> All right, let's talk a little bit about now the Miss Southwest and the Miss Santa Fe. Now, you have two titles that you're going to be crowning on Saturday night. Now, how does that work? Um, our first place 
is Miss Southwest, and okay. then the runner-up would, which second place would then be our Miss Santa Fe Trail. Okay. Now, and you may explain to people, now this is an open pageant. This is an open pageant, open to anyone who is a Kansas resident. Kansas resident, going to school in the state of Kansas? Yes, they, the rule like is that? they've had to have lived here for six months. Okay. All right. So you've got, now you have what? How many contestants do you have for this Saturday? Currently, right now, we have nine contestants. We're very excited about it. Well, that's good. That's a good number. Yes, we that's have to have number. eight to give out two titles. So oh, we're one over. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, the majority, and now we were talking a little bit before we went on the air, though. You've got, now out of your nine contestants, mm -hmm. you've got um, one girl that's coming from Manhattan. Yes. And one young lady from Salina. And one but, from Liberal. Okay, but other than that, the majority of them are pretty much local. Well, I guess you can call Liberal local. Yeah, if you include Liberal local, <laughs> then the rest of them are local. But um, actually, without those three, I have six of them that are from Ulysses. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's real good. Now, have any of these, have any of these young ladies been in the pageant world before? Um, our one from Salina just competed in Dodge City last week. Um, she did not place. She wasn't one of the winners, but she's very excited to continue to come on, and she said maybe this is her one. Um, besides that, most of the others have not had any experience in the pageant, except for Josie. She's coming back this year. She competed last year for us. Okay, so, and what people have to understand is with the Miss Kansas organization, this is all based on scholarships. Yes. They're not, they're not getting rich doing this. I mean, they're not pocketing a lot of money. And that's all they. I mean, it's all for scholarships. It's all scholarship money, all of it. And um, we can also help pay on their student loans. But yeah, it's all scholarship money. So, and you guys, and now how much, how much scholarship money is going to be available to these eight, eight young ladies Saturday um, night? The nine young, young ladies nine. will be um, around $7,000 is what we'll give out. And that includes um, their $100 CMNH, the Children's Miracle Network Hospital donation that is requested we donate that for all of them so that's included in that seven thousand dollars because the children's miracle network hospital that is the charity for the miss america organization yes right? it is okay all right so any dignitaries or anybody going to be there saturday night i'm still waiting to find out um i think we have a few people from the state coming down but no one okay. has confirmed for sure with me so we have you coming oh yeah, that's right judge i'm a judge <laughs> I've judged before. I'll tell you what. It is really fun to judge. I mean, if you haven't done it, if you haven't been involved in the Miss America or the Miss Kansas um, organization, I mean, it's something you should really get involved in because it is. It's really interesting. You get to meet a bunch of really nice young ladies. And to me, the funnest part for me is not so much the Saturday night when you do all the pomp and circumstance. My favorite part is the interview. Oh, yes. I mean, you get them in there and you just start asking them questions. And they're and see nervous how, as and nervous they can they're, be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and, I, and I've helped with some pageants where, you know, we go and we give them test, you know, mm -hmm. interviews and those types of things. And it's, it's always fun to see and to watch them grow. Yes. And, you know, I think, oh, you have another big deal, though. You have, there are, there are two other parts to the Miss Kansas organization, right? Because you have mm -hmm. the Miss Outstanding Teen Kansas, right? Yes. And you have a couple of contestants in that? Yes, we up. have Tyra Hayden, who's Miss Outstanding Grant County. Okay. And then Cami Breeze, who she's just now a seventh grader, and she just reached the age limit, so she's going to do it. And she's our Miss Ulysses Outstanding team. Okay. And then we have over 40 sunflower princesses. Now, the sunflower princess, explain to people how the sunflower princess thing works. It is not to a get, competition. To get 43 of them. <laughs> it is not a competition <laughs> for the little girls, but every little girl loves to get a crown and go on stage and be introduced, but it's really fun for them. They get not only that, but on Thursday night with all of, they'll learn their dance because they'll perform a dance for everybody. And then on Friday, they get a mentoring session, which is probably one of the things the kids love the most is that those girls get to sit there and talk to all of the contestants, our reigning contestants, um, our teens, and they get to really just have some fun and mentoring with them. And then the night of the program, they are introduced on stage and they also perform a dance for you and they get their little crowns and they'll get their picture with the contestants. So it's really nice for them. Plus they get a chance, 
in June, you go to Pratt to the yes. Miss Kansas pageant Absolutely. also. Yeah. You get to hang out with everybody. Yeah, my daughters did it a couple of years ago. They were Sunflower Princesses there, and they loved it. It's a fun-filled week for them. It's busy in Pratt. We don't keep them as busy as they do. <laughs> well, no, but you have, I mean, 43 of them, that is a bunch. Yes, we that try to keep bunch. it at 35, but this year we just, we it exploded. Finally, it exploded. And our high school is actually making all the little T-shirts for the girls, so we're well, excited neat. for that. Yeah. Okay, so you have your reigning Miss um, Southwest and Miss Santa Fe Trail, will they be there Saturday night? Um, they will be there, but our reigning Miss Southwest is no longer reigning Miss Southwest. She received a new title already. She is actually Miss Hay Capital 2016, Bailey, Bailey Munsell. Munsell. And yes. she's from Ulysses. Ulysses. Yeah. So, yeah. I so she's Bailey. no longer our reigning, but we still love her that That's way. That's okay. <laughs> she, can still, she can still hand out a crown. Oh, she? she absolutely and is. And she's going to help MC as long as Savannah, as well as Savannah Kelly who is our reigning Miss Santa Fe Trail. Casey Kruger from Pioneer Communications is going to be the MC. And Casey's been on the show with me a couple of times. I've known Casey for a long time, so you make sure that he doesn't give Bailey any hoo-ha <laughs> at we all. We told him just have fun. Well, that's the important part. Okay, so this all kicks off Saturday night at what time? At 7 p.m. Okay. Um, ticket sales actually go on sale on Thursday about 4.30 at Kepley Auditorium. Um, all of the seats, last year we started this and we're continuing it this year, where they're all ticketed seats. So you come in and choose where you want to sit. You don't have to get there at 6 o'clock then on Saturday trying to get a decent seat. Um, but you come in and you buy your tickets and then we'll sell them on Thursday, Friday. Every time we're up there working with the princesses or the contestants, we'll have the ticket sales open. Okay. Jen, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Saturday night, Ulysses America. Miss Southwest slash Miss Santa Fe Trail Pageant, Kepley Auditorium, 7 o'clock, right? Yes, and if you want to meet the contestants early, they'll be here for Chamber Coffee at Pioneer Communications on Friday at 10 a.m. There you go. You can go meet all the pretty girls. All right. There you Jen, go. Jen, thanks. Thank you so much. And I'll see you Saturday. Yes, you will. All right, and stick around. I'll we'll be back with more right after this. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here. 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 And here. We are broadcasters. Always here for you. Wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. And you know what? If you're looking for something to do this weekend, you know, Ulysses isn't that far. Head on over there to the Miss Southwest and Miss Santa Fe Trail pageant. You know, you're going to see good entertainment. You're going to see all kinds of stuff. It's, they're a lot of fun. Plus, you get to see me judge. So there you go. That's a bonus right there. Hey, the Kansas City Chiefs, they scrapped and fought for more than two months. to Piece together a franchise record 10-game winning streak, allowing them to return to the playoffs. 
after a one-year absence with a 23-17 victory over the Oakland Raiders on Sunday. Boy, they made that closer than I wanted it to be, too, while I was watching it. Adrian Peterson ran for a touchdown, and cornerback Captain Munnerlin returned a fumble 55 yards for a score as Minnesota claimed its first NFC North title since 2009 and ended the Packers' four-year reign atop the division. They beat them 20-13 to last night in, well, I don't want to call it the frozen tundra, but it was in the 20s at Lambeau Field. Carolina closed out its remarkable season by wrapping up home field advantage in the NFC. Denver turned to Peyton Manning. He got quite the ovation when he came into the game to take advantage of New England's slip-up in the AFC. Since New England lost, the Broncos become the number one seed. And Rex Ryan, he kind of rubbed salt in the wound yesterday to make certain that the New York Jets' playoff drought continued as they, the Bills beat the Jets, and that meant the Jets lose, not in the playoffs. They're out of there. And there is kind of a big basketball game going on tonight. Depending on how the rankings come out, OU visits Allen Fieldhouse tonight to take on KU. Now, OU is undefeated, but they had a very close game against Iowa State on Saturday. KU played Baylor and kind of blew right through them. A lot of people are looking at this one as a matchup maybe. Well, OU going to try and dethrone KU on the top of the Big 12 rankings in basketball. And that's a look at some of the sports. Let's take a look at our weather. If we can get there, temperature is now 38 degrees, relative humidity 68.6%. Winds are out of the south, southeast at 6. Barometric pressure is now falling. As you can see, we're going to have lots of sunshine today. Going to be mostly cloudy tomorrow, but the highs are going to stay up there in the mid to upper 40s. You do have a chance of rain sneaking in on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Saturday going to cool off a little bit, highs in the 30s. Go out and make it a great Monday every day. Tune in tomorrow. Russ Jennings is my guest. See you tomorrow. Keep up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, KDGL TV. Life's a little different here in Southwest Kansas. We do things our own way with a can do spirit and strong family values, which means we treat people right and we want the best value for our dollar. The same is true about United Wireless. We aren't like the national brands. We treat our customers like family. We provide excellent service and simple, easy to understand plans that will save you money. We are United Wireless and we are Southwest Kansas Proud. kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. There's something I feel when I'm right here. Separate raw meats from other foods by using different cutting boards. 3,000 Americans will die from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check